Hello everybody, in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, video and audio transitions. And those things are actually found in the effects tab over here. If we move to the side, here's your project tab, and along these tabs here in the project area, you will find effects. That effects tab is going to show a couple different folders. You have a video transitions folder and an audio transitions folder. These are a bit different from the effects. It still is kind of an effect, but it is a transition between an edit, between one edit and the, and the next. And within each folder here, we're going to go through video first, and within the video folder you'll notice uh, you've got uh, different types of uh, transitions that transition from one clip to the next between an edit. And what we've got here under dissolve is you'll notice you've got one that's got this little teeny square, just kind of a blue square kind of surrounding it. What that is, is that is called your default transition. You can actually select a different default transition just simply by right clicking on one and saying set this selected one as your default transition. The most common uh, transition is called the cross dissolve. That's a pretty typical transition there. That's why this one is usually selected as the default transition. Let's say you're doing a wedding video and you got a whole bunch of uh, pictures that you're going between and you want to do some wipes and you want uh, your shortcut to use the default transition maybe as like a wipe or something like that. You can go into the wipe and you can find the one that you like and you can right click on it and say, oh, I want this pinwheel here. And you can select that as your uh, default transition because the people getting married love the pinwheel transition. So that makes it easy to use your shortcut, which is uh, control D or command D to add a cross dissolve or, or to add the default video transition. Transition. I'm going to right click on this one and set this back to my default transition here. Let me click on our timeline here. And I zoom up plus 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 and zoom up on this and say we want to do a transition, a video transition between this clip and the next. As a place in the next clip we want to do a dissolve between those two instead of just a hard cut. All you have to do is reach over and grab. There's an easy way to do this. Of course, there are shortcuts for it, but I'm going to grab the effect that I want, this cross dissolve. I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to bring it over my edit right here and drop it. Now you'll notice that this cross dissolve, it will actually start. What the cross dissolve is, basically, is it will start fading in this clip over here, that clip's footage, at this point right here, and it will start fading this clip out at this point and gradually fade it out over this much time and gradually fade this clip's footage in over this much time right here. So as we play through this, what you get is this cross dissolve between the clips. It is fading one out while fading one in, and that's called a cross dissolve. Now you can easily change the time of this cross, cross dissolve in a couple different ways. You can select it, and it will show up in your effect controls window up here, and you can actually just click on duration and change it the exact duration that you want. Say you want like 15 frames, you just type in on your numpad, 1-5, hit enter, and now it changed to a 15 frame dissolve, which is about a half a second, depending on if you're 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second. If it's 24 frames, you'll need like a 12 second to make it at half time. Uh, if it's 30, fr 30 frames per second, you'll need 15. Up here, you got your little alignment thing. You can pull this down and you can say start at the cut and watch what this does. It puts, it starts the cross dissolve at the cut and then gradually fades into this clip here. So now the cross dissolve won't start until this edit. So play through that. There it is, it starts right there at the edit. Because if you have excess footage, say you have excess footage on this clip here, and it's up and playing back here, and you might see something that you don't want over here, so this is kind of a helpful little feature to make sure that, that it starts where you want it to. You can hit here and tell it to end at the cut as well. So if you have excess footage on this clip and you don't want it showing, you can have it start a little bit earlier, and, and, and it ends right there. Or you can just have it center at the cut there, which is pretty standard. If you check mark this show actual sources here, it'll show an image instead of just like this regular AB dissolve here as you play through it, it just shows like this little AB dissolve here. It'll show you what it's actually doing right there. And if you hit this little play button, it'll give you a little preview of what that effect is. Now, some ways of uh, controlling this once you've got it down in your timeline. If you want quick access to the duration, you can just simply double click on it and it will bring up this little duration window and then you can type in your time code. There. Then you can type in your length of transition. I want a one second. I'm just going to type in one period and hit enter and it does a one second. The period is a placeholder for the two zeros in the frames and we play through it and now we got our one second. Also, you can just manually grab this here and you can drag it outwards and it expands it outwards, which makes it longer, or you grab it and drag it inwards, which makes it shorter. You can also do that little start at uh, cut, end at cut sort of thing a little bit more manually here. You can grab it and just drag it to the right and or drag it to the left and control it in that way. Now, if you want a shortcut for that and you have your default transition selected there, what you're going to do is you're going to, if you want to land on an edit, and by land on an edit, I mean you use your arrows up and down. I'm hitting up and it goes to the edits to the left. If I do down, it goes to the edits to the right. If you want to add that transition, say I want to add it right here, I'm going to hit arrow up so I land right on that edit. And now the shortcut for adding your default transition is Control D or Command D on a Mac. So on a PC, Control D 
and it adds my default transition. Now you gotta be really careful about this as well because if you have a clip that is selected later on down the timeline, so let me go down the timeline, I'm gonna select a couple clips down here and I'm gonna zoom up on this area right here and I don't realize I have some clips selected down the timeline there. So now I'm gonna jump to my edit right there and say I wanna create a dissolve right, or a crash dissolve right there, I hit Control D and oh, nothing happened. And the reason why nothing happened is, well, something did happen, I'm gonna zoom out and look down the timeline here, and with these clips selected, look what it did. It actually added a cross dissolve on these selected clips down here. So if you're trying to add a cross dissolve, and uh, you you got something selected on the timeline, and you have some clips selected on the timeline, uh, further down the timeline, and you hit Control D. So to get rid of that, I'm just gonna simply hit Control Z or Command Z to get rid of that. Let's, let's say something is selected further on down the timeline, right? like right there, and I'm zoomed up, and I wanna add a dissolve right here. Uh, what you'll usually want to do, if you hit Control D and it does nothing, you realize it just probably did an effect somewhere else down the timeline. So what I'm going to do is do Control Z to undo that. If you want to deselect everything in the timeline, make sure nothing is selected so it's not affecting a dissolve somewhere else. Deselect everything by doing, if you, well, first of all, if you hit Control A, Control A is a way to select everything. Control Shift A, Shift is used as a modifier to make it kind of opposite. Control Shift A deselects everything or command shift a will deselect everything on the timeline now i can hit control d and add my cross dissolve so let's quickly kind of show what other little effects do here i'm going to close that one kill that one there and i'm going to move down here and find what was it called a push i know there's one that i like that it's called a push that i'm going to use it's just a quick little slide here i'm going to go on my search engine type in push and it brings it up right there it's under my slide folder and if you want to kind of do this transition where um where it does this push from a clip to clip to clip here. Uh, one quick way I can do this to all of these here is uh, I'm going to right click on my push and set that as the default transition. I'm going to select all these clips and I want to push going in between each one of these clips right here. Let's, I'm going to grab all these right here. I want it from there. I want it from like right here through all these clips right there. So now all you have to do is hit Control D or Command D and it adds a push between each single one that I had selected there. So with all those selected, now watch this as I play through these does a push does a push those are too close together to do all those pushes so that's the effect that i'm getting there Hi. and it doesn't and it does a push between each clip there so there i've got like a segment here at the end that's built a little bit more for that so i'm going to select all these here and now i'm going to do Control d and do a push between all those there we go these ones are a little bit more paced a little bit more distance between them push 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 and it's doing that little wipe thing as it goes between all these clips here. So, all right, let's go over the audio transition part here. Okay, so under the crossfade folder, you've got these three items right here. The default one is the constant power. Uh, you've got constant gain and exponential fade. I'm going to explain what each one of those mean. On the Adobe website, if you look that up, you'll find uh, this image for each three of these here. You've got the constant gain. Now, what's happening here is you've got audio that is turning down and the next audio channel that is turning up. Uh, and constant gain means that this is just kind of the sharp kind of fall off. It. The audio is playing at full, at full audio level then it hits this point and it just does this straight graph go dropping right here and then the other one just will, will fade in with this kind of sharp graph here it's a little bit more a little bit uh kind of jarring at some at some points uh these are actually very subtle differences though if you listen to it you'll hear subtle differences what you've got with uh constant power this is the most commonly used this causes what this is what they call an envelope here because it looks like the back of an envelope you'll have kind of this gradual curve as it gradually falls off and then this gradual kind of curve of it coming back in of the next audio clip coming back in and down here what you've got with exponential fade it looks a lot like the uh, constant gain one but this is actually a little bit more gradual it's like a mix between these two here you'll have a little bit of gradual fall off up here and then it's really sharp at the end here and uh, supposedly this is kind of the way we more, we more hear things this makes things a little bit more natural sounding uh, exponential fade but constant power is the most common one used so they do have that set as the default uh, transition between audio clips. So we move down to our audio here. I'm going to go down to where we've got this little music. Uh, the music has actually been cut here to make it fit into this timeline here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this top track and unmute this one here. And we're going to listen to going to listen to this music transition here between the uh, this edit here. I'm going to zoom up, and as we play through this. There's a hard cut right there. And if you want to smooth that out a little bit between, try to blend that music together a little bit more, I'm going to arrow up to land on that edit. And instead of Control D like we did with the video effect, I'm going to do Control Shift 
D. And that will add an audio transition between these. So notice fading this audio clip up while fading the other one down. If you double click on it, if you select it, it'll go up into the uh, into the effect control panel and you can have the exact same controls that you did uh, with the video transition. And you can also grab it, you can lengthen it out here, you can make it shorter, and uh, just kind of smooth that audio out between the edit. I'm gonna kill the video here so you can really hear this. See, that really long one doesn't really work well, so I'm just going to shorten that up, and now let's listen to this. And that works okay there. See, the shorter one worked a little bit better there. So one other thing that we can do with our video effects and our audio effects is our fade out at the end of a clip. We can, we can fade to black, basically, at the end of a video clip and fade to silence with our audio here. I'm going to go to the very end here. I'm going to get on this last final clip right here. I'm going to turn my video back on. And say we want to fade out at the end of this clip. I'm going to get rid of my black video right now just to show you what happens if we go to the very end and there's no edit video edit between here and we hit Control D we create what's called a fade out. There's a cross is all, but there's no video to fade to, so it simply fades to black. Same with the audio here. Say our audio, I'm gonna shorten this audio here so we have kind of an abrupt ending on our audio. Turn off the video so we can hear this. And the audio just comes to a quick stop right there. Say we want that to fade out, make it more gradual. Control, Shift, D adds our fade out there. Well, it's a, it's a constant power cross to, or cross fade there, but as we play through this, now it just fades out. If we make that a little bit longer and then make this transition a little bit longer there, it will gradually fade out. There we go, and it sounds like the music comes to an end right there and fades completely out. So those are the basics on uh, using video transitions and audio transitions. If you have any questions, please post them, and thanks for watching.